hello in this video we are going to see how we can move around in this 3d area so that we can work with our objects now before we can proceed one thing we need to understand is that this 3d representation is actually happening on a 2d plane like let us say we if we consider this as our monitor so this is a flat surface there is no depth actually right there's no depth only the way the content is shown it gives us an effect of three dimensions or that 3d effect is originated so let us say in real life when you are working this is your object fine now this object could be lightweight heavy or anything when you are working on your object or model if you want to see the back side of the model you could move around the model and have a look at it from the back side right so if the model is really heavy or it cannot be rotated you can actually move around doing your work left right top bottom whatever is the requirement you can move around fine now what happens on a 3d screen is let us say if this is my 3d screen and my model is showing up here and you want to see its backside obviously if you walk around your screen you are not going to see the backside right that is basically understandable so what functionality is given is that the whole environment or the scene that you have over here obviously it is focused on a particular object it can be rotated around the whole scene fine so it gives a feel of that you are moving around the objects in this particular point one needs to understand is that we are not rotating or relocating any objects we are actually moving around the current setup fine like as if you are a director of a movie and there is a whole set being kept over there for you and you can move around the whole set without disturbing any of the object this is what we call as orbiting around our objects or orbiting the scene the other thing that you can do is you can rotate the object fine like if this is my object or model and i can rotate it around like this so what happens is now in this case the orientation of my object is changing right now it's facing towards you it is now facing in some other direction now facing in some other direction so you may not want to change the orientation of your objects immediately while working or you might have set it into a particular direction as per your requirement so the easier way is to actually move around your object now if we are in the 3d view we can select the object that will become our center of focus okay so if you want to move around here in our scene as we have discussed since we cannot go inside our screen we are going to use our mouse this is the middle mouse button the scroll wheel which should be clickable as mentioned earlier this with my cursor in the 3d view area i am going to click and drag that means middle mouse button is pressed i'm not going to leave it now when i move it left or right you can see your scene is completely turning around so technically you are moving around the whole scene now as you move the mouse you can set it up down left right whatever is the requirement so with the middle mouse button pressed when the cursor is in the 3d view area and when you click and drag with the middle mouse button in any direction you can actually get to orbit around your stuff now here what you can do is you can zoom in and zoom away from the object by just using the scroll wheel you don't need to click it so this is zooming out and this is zooming in with your scroll wheel fine now suppose i take this object and i orbit around now what happens is this orbit around does not looks very nice because i would want to see around the monkey and not this particular object so in this case we need to set the monkey as our center reference point now the keyboard shortcut for this is if you have a full keyboard from the numeric keypad you can press the dot key and this becomes your center now you can zoom out or zoom in and then move around this object this has become your center of focus okay 
similarly you can take any of the objects make it center of your focus and move around that okay so now here one interesting thing that has happened is i am my other objects have gone out of the screen so now i can select the cube over here and press dot so that will become center of screen so this is sometimes when outliner is really useful when i am working fine uh, some objects are not there or i want to select an object and put it as our center of uh, our reference okay now uh, if you don't have that dot or completely extended keyboard how do you uh, do it from the menu select this go to view and in the view you have frame selected so that switches or makes it as the center and now you can orbit around that object much more easily so this takes care of about how do we orbit around our objects fine now second thing is if i am facing my object like this let us say right and i just want to move side to side if i orbit around this is moving like this fine let me zoom in now i want i'm working on some finer details and i want this kind of movement as you can see now i'm not orbiting i'm just moving in front of the object fine like like if this is my object say i am moving like this or like this or up or down slightly or if this is the guy who's looking at you or the object he is moving like this or he is moving like this fine keep in mind we are not moving the object so in this particular case what is to be done is press shift and then press the middle mouse button now if you move left and right fine you can get this effect this is called as your pan effect and you can again do the same by moving it up and down like this okay so you can just move your mouse in any direction so it will not orbit now so it will pan this is another operation that you can do while working fine now if you still don't like all these things there is this amazing gizmo that is provided now how to use it we will see it in the next one you can simply click on it and drag your mouse around normal left click on this and drag your mouse around you will get the effect of your orbit around fine okay and if you want the pan effect you can see this hand icon click and drag now you will simply get the pan effect from this so you can use these two gizmos fine this one and the hand icon over here that can be used for moving around so that is the first basic of how to move around in our scene